Hello everyone, welcome to Earth ID YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you step by step on how to enter data and define variable in SPSS. First, when you open up your SPSS software, you will see there are two tabs at the bottom. The first one is the data view and next one is the variable view. The data view is where you enter and view your actual data. Each row represents a case or an observation and each column represents a variable. You can input your data directly into the cells in this window. The variable view is where you define and modify the properties of your variables, such as their names, labels, measurements level, etc. This view allows you to set up the structure of your dataset. Before typing your data, you have to define your variable at variable view window. Here, you'll have several options that you need to set before typing the variable name. At the field name, this is the field where you assign the name to each variable. It must be unique and can include letters, numbers, and underscores. Avoid spaces or special characters. It's unacceptable in SPSS. The only character you can use is underscore. Remember that. In this tutorial, let's use three variables. The first one is resident ID. The second one is income. The third one is income level. The next setting is type. This field helps us to specify the type of data the variable will hold. Common types include numeric for quantitative data and string for qualitative data. If you click the three dots, you will see several options you can use such as date, comma, etc. Width represents the maximum number of characters a string variable can hold or the width of the numeric variable. For example, if you expect the numbers up to 10 digits, set the width to 10. Decimals option only applicable only to numeric variables. It determines the number of decimal places to display for the variable. If you can make sure there is no decimals in your data, just reduce it to zero. Label is a short description of the variable. This is especially useful for providing more information about the variable for clarity. Here, you can use spaces and characters. Write the label clearly because the label will be the name that appears in the output window such as in the table, chart, etc. Values can be used for variables with categories or code. This field allows you to assign labels to the code. Click the three dots to add the values. For example, if 1 represents low income, 2 represents middle income, and 3 represents high income. The next field is missing. This field can be used to specify the code or value that indicates missing data for the variable. If a certain value in your dataset represents missing data, you can define it here. For example, click the three dots and let's define 000 as missing value. If there is 000 value, it will be considered as a missing value by ESPSS and vice versa. Column shows the starting and ending column positions of the variable in the datasheet. This is useful for understanding where the variable's data is located in the, the worksheet. Aligns helps you to determine the alignment of the variable values in the datasheet. You can choose left, center, or right alignment. At the measure field, you can define the measurement level of the variable, such as nominal, ordinal, or scale. This information is crucial for statistical analysis. If your data is category, use nominal. If your data in rank order, use ordinal. If your data in ratio or scale, use scale. The role column allows you to define the role of each variable in your data. The role specifies how SPSS should treat a particular variable during certain analysis. There are several predefined roles in SPSS, and each role has implication for how the variable is used in the statistical procedure. The variable view provides a structured way to set up and organize your dataset before entering data into the data view. Properly defining these properties help SPSS understand the nature of your data, which is essential for accurate analysis. Okay, now let's move to the data view window and you will see the heading of the column is already changed to the name based on what you type at the variable window. The data view in SPSS is the section where you input, view, and manipulate your actual data. It represents a spreadsheet-like interface where each row corresponds to an individual case or observation, and each column represents a variable. Now, let's fill the data first. Let's make just, uh, we have about five ideas, and fill up the rest of the variable. Mm -hmm. 
In the leftmost column, you see the displays of a sequential number assigned to each case or row. This number helps identify and reference individual cases in your dataset. At the heading of the column, you see the name of the variable. Each column represents a variable in your dataset. You can enter data for each case in the cells under the respective variable column. Numeric, string, or date values can be entered based on the variable type. In the spreadsheet-like cells, these are the individual cells where you can input actual data for each variable and each case. You can click on a cell to enter or modify the data. If you right-click the heading of the variable, you'll see several options you can use such as sort, insert variable, descriptive statistics, and etc. You can use short ascending or descending to rank the variable from the smallest or highest value. You can also use insert variable if you want to insert another variable at the column. And also, most people don't know that they can directly get the descriptive statistics value just by a single click. This is my favorite part. Okay, I think that's all the important things that you need to know about entering data and defining the variable in SPSS. Thank you. See you in another video.